Today's shooting, like every shooting that makes the news, produced fevered calls for new restrictions on gun ownership and gun rights. Jumani Williams is a member of the New York City Council. After today's shooting, he put out a statement calling for, quote, common sense gun legislation that addresses the supply and demand for guns. He also demanded new laws, quote, combating the leadership of the NRA as they try to deceive people into thinking they're simply working to protect Second Amendment rights. Councilman Williams joins us tonight. Um, Councilman, I guess the obvious question is, what gun law would have prevented the shooting today? I think it's a combination of things. First, my prayers for uh, Representative Scalise and his family. I know he's in critical uh, condition. I think it's a, a, a confluence of things that we need uh, in preventing this type of supply. That's the supply side. These supply of guns are going into these communities. We have to prevent it. This man uh, apparently had a criminal history. Why did, he have hist uh, why did he have access to these guns so readily? We also need to prevent gun laws like the ones that NRA May I answer? I know the sure. answer to this. So um, he bought his gun legally. He had a background, federal background check. Sure. Um, he was not convicted of any crime. And so, of course, you can't punish people without convicting them under our system. Sure. And he lived in a rural area, so it's not like guns were flooding into his community. He went and bought it at a gun shop, um, as he's allowed to do. So, again, since you used this shooting as a way to promote your political views on gun control, sure. what gun law would have prevented this shooting? So my answer to that question is one, as I said, there's supply and demand. The supply side uh, is all of the illegal guns that we talk about were legal at some point. So there's too many points of purchase and too much ability to get unfettered access to guns. My, my, I believe in understanding he had two guns. I don't know necessarily that you need two, three, and four guns. There are okay, people who but the, repeat. But, uh, but he, had, you know, he had a rifle, and he shot a lot of people with a rifle, five, sure. five people with this rifle. He got it legally again. So I guess the point I'm making is there are hundreds of millions of firearms in the United States. The Second Amendment guarantees the right, as translated by the Supreme Court, for people to buy them. Um, how do you stop gun crime or shootings like this short of confiscating every gun, which obviously no, is not going to No, no, you don't have to confiscate so every gun. So how would you have prevented this crime? Uh, I mean, but there are laws that could be put in place uh, that minimize the access to guns, minimize access uh, to semi-automatic weapons that people won't even entertain. Uh, there is research that can be done with the CDC to see what those laws are. But the Republicans in the NRA block that okay, kind of Okay, but I don't know why you're waiting for the NRA to do your work for you or the CDC. Now, you're an elected official, and you're using a tragedy. You're leveraging a tragedy. No. In order, oh, of course you are. You're sending so, out a press release in the middle. You know, people so, are still being carted to the hospital saying, we could have prevented this. So, so I'm no, asking you the are, obvious you're, question, you're, which is you're how. You're speaking to a council member who's a proud member of the city council uh, who's had a voice in helping New York City be one of the safest cities in the country. So there should be people listening to what's happening. Well, congratulations. But we're yeah. talking on a day about a mass shooting that took place in Alexandria sure. at 7 a.m. this morning, and you used that occasion to send out this press release no, today for, the, for the fourth time. What law would have prevented we're this? We're talking about the 159 other mass shootings that have happened uh, in so this country. So you'll concede nothing you're proposing would have stopped this No, no, one? I'm saying we're talking about the 27,000 Americans that have died since, uh, since the beginning of this year alone. And I'm saying the gun violence is occurring because there's a supply and what I'm saying there is okay. combinations of gun laws that we should put forth and discuss I'm saying that we should be allowed to just even research look you, what, you're allowed happened. to say whatever you want on this show any crazy sure. idea you have you know this is an sure. open forum I'm just I'm gonna try for a fifth time then I'm gonna completely no, give because up because you what you're doing is you're no, steering no. the conversation to the general no, when I would like to bring it back to a very specific no, no, thing. No, it has to be brought to a general because this is not no, about one because incident. You don't Absolutely. have a real answer. That's no, 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 why. because this is one incident that you want to focus on. And so there I'm are saying, millions of high capacity sure. so called assault rifles, five five six, two two three, perhaps a rifle used today, that kind There's of rifle. No one who's listening what do you, what do, you do? What do you do There's with those no guns? one who's listening can say there is not too much access to guns in this country and the correlation okay. to how many people die from gun violence in this country than to anyone else is okay. huge. Okay, that's, and so we okay. have to have but, a discussion uh, about gun law. I'm, I'm trying to have a discussion right sure. now and I'm not so, making much headway no, no, because no, you're bringing you it back to these banal bumper what stickers. Is, what do you do about the millions is, of these rifles is, in this country? Access to high capacity weapons.
access to purchase weapons if you have okay. criminal history. You're not only hearing access, me. They're access, already there. What do you do? Do you ban them? To, do you confiscate uh, access, them? How about we stop first? How about we get a stopgap and then have a discussion? A stopgap? What we does that mean? We can't even have a discussion. What is that? We can have hold a discussion. On, hold on. The CDC can't even do research to answer your question uh, you, because, the NRA, because the NRA and the Republicans won't let them. You, how about we start there? How about allowing the CDC to do research on this You know, this I invited John hoping you'd have something interesting to say. I do. And you're I giving me the same talking there. points about the CDC. We're, we're out to the floor director telling me we're out of time. Yeah, Last question. question. We have all these rifles out there. Should sure. we confiscate them or not? That's, not? that's not the question. The question is how do we prevent the supply of guns into these communities? Okay. Uh, Mr. Williams, I appreciate it. Thanks, Thanks for coming on.